So here we'll look at solving a two-step equation with signed fractions. Okay, we want to solve for u. So once again, it's kind of like our balance beam, but oh my gosh, fractions, those are, those are terrible. I hate fractions. So what do we do about that? Well, we got a technique that's really key. We can eliminate fractions with one step. And how do we do this? We multiply both sides by the LCD, the least common denominator. So we have the common denominators of, two, uh, the, we need to find the common denominator of 8, 2, and 4. How do we do this? Well, here's what I recommend. To find the LCD, you list the, the denominators, 8, 2, and 4. And then you're going to count by these numbers. And always start with the largest, the largest one, 8. And ask first ask, will 2 go into 8? Yes. Will 4 go into 8? Yes. So therefore, 8 is the least common denominator. So that's an easy one. So our least common denominator is 8. So we always start with the largest one. If, if it didn't go into 8, then we count by 16, 24, etc. And we check each one to see if these go into it. And the smallest one that works is our least common denominator. So now back to our step where we multiply the whole thing. We're actually going to multiply this entire equation by 8, which is the same thing as 8 over 1, right? So if we multiply 8 times a half, you know, we distribute this. That's what they've done here. So this shows it's distributed 8 times a half. That's just 4. Ooh, hey, no more fraction. And then 8 times 3 eighths over u. Remember, that's the same thing as 8 over 1. So these 8s cross cancel, and we're just left with 3u. Yay, Out of get, got rid of that fraction. And here, 8, of course, being the same as 8 over 1, we can cross cancel the 4, or go into 8 2 times. 2 times 3 makes 6. So that's how we got this one. And now, we know how to solve these, because we've done those before. That's just the teeter-totter. So we've got 4 and a 3u equals 6 on our balance beam of teeter-totter. We want to subtract this 4 from both sides. So that goes away, and we get 3u equals 2 on our balance beam. And we know that we need to divide by 3 on both sides to get the u all by itself. And that's what they've done here. So u is going to equal 2 thirds. And there's our answer. So here's another example. We want to solve for w again. And first step, we know we got to multiply by the LCD. So we're going to look at 8, 4, and 3. And like I mentioned, let's, let's check 8 first. Will 4 go into 8? Yes. Will 3 go into 8? No. So 8's got to be out. So we're going to count by 8's. Let's check 16. Does 4 go into 16? Yes. Does 3 go into 16? No. So that means 16's out. Next, 24. 4 go into 24? Yes. Does 3 go into 24? Yes. So there we have it. 24 is our least common denominator. So we're going to take 24 which is the same thing as 24 over 1. And we're going to multiply it by every single part of that whole equation. And of course, if we distribute this into each individual part, we can cross cancel. So I'm going to write it out long ways. I'm going to say 24 over 1 times 1 third. And then it's going to be plus 24 over 1 times 3 fourths, then the w, and that's going to equal 24 over 1 times the 1 eighth. So I'm, you may not need to write this step out, but it might help. It's totally up to you. If we cross cancel here, 3 will go into 24 8 times, and so we just end up with an 8. <coughs> 4 will go into 24 6 times. 6 times 3 is 18. And we don't want to forget that w. 
And then here, 8 will go into 24 three times, so that's just going to equal 3. Hey, that's great. That first step got rid of fractions. That's the whole idea behind that first step, isn't it? And this is much easier to work with, because now we know we could subtract 8 from both sides. These go away. We, are, we end up with 18w is equal to a negative 5 dividing by 18. We get w equals negative 5 over 18. And that's our answer. So there's a couple there's a couple of examples. Here's one you can work through on your own. Pause this video and then work out the problem, get your answer, and come back and check your answer. Okay, so now that you've worked that out, you should have gotten an LCD of 24. Multiplying each and every part by 24, we get rid of fractions, so we end up with negative 32 equals 20w minus 21. Working through that, you should have gotten w equals negative 11 over 20.